My name is Adam Phillips. I'm a son of the Evangelical Covenant Church. I've been on a journey. I once believed that fully welcoming and including the LGBT community into our churches could not be reconciled with Christian teaching. These beliefs began to change, however, once I encountered good, faithful Jesus followers who happened to be gay. The institution that is Christ Church, colon, Portland, registered 501c3 religious organization in the state of Oregon, that's ending today. As I dug into the Bible with friends and others, I became convinced that fully welcoming and including our LGBT sisters and brothers was not only consistent with the whole arc of Scripture, but was where the Holy Spirit was guiding the church today. Christ Church, very simple concept, that we could be a community for all people, of all people, bound together in this body of Christ, this anointed one who came into real space and time and uh, as a Jewish Palestinian boy amidst empire and saved the world. Kind of upside down kind of saving. Because he failed, right? He, he died. He didn't win. But it's a more profound sense of winning. If you, if you want to win, you got to lose. The psalmist writes, I am a companion of all who fear thee. It's the founding verse of the Evangelical Covenant Church. And though it grieves me that Christ Church Portland will no longer be part of the Covenant family, this verse continues to guide us as we push forward in faith. Those who give a cold cup of water in my name, right? That's what Jesus was about. That's what the Anointed One was about. Not, not about splitting people up into uh, tribes and parties and divisions, but into some sort of unified whole. That's what I love about Father Richard Rohr's teaching, that, that the Christ, the Anointed One, is, is not so much concerned about dogmas and doctrines and teachings that we memorize, but the Christ is actually found in everyone, everywhere, and in everything. Imagine that everyone you encounter this week has the Christ light in them. Everywhere you go, God is with you. The divine is with you everywhere you go. And everything you see and touch and experience all belongs in this God journey. In this idea of being companions of all undergirds everything that we do, whether it's worship or mission, whether it's Bible study or prayer, whether it's our work for compassion, mercy, and justice. We are companions of all who seek to love and walk in faith and not fear. And the scriptures have been used as texts of terror for so many of us. They've been used to abuse, to hurt, to oppress, to not allow us to be our full selves. And we have said no to all of that and yes to God's radical sense And reality of inclusion. You know, we're, we're both sinners and saints alike. We're, we're, none of us are perfect, but all of us have that Christ light in us, and we get to go and do likewise and serve, giving a cold cup of water in Jesus' name. And maybe not even we needing to say Jesus' name. God knows what we're up to. We don't have church next week. And we're not going to have church together the week after that. And some of us are saying, praise be to God, I can't stand Zoom church. <laughs> and, and some of us are very heartbroken. But know this, that we are just going to church differently. And we'll see each other. And we'll be connected. And we'll be part of this, as we have always been, this great cloud of witnesses this great subversive cloud of witnesses.